Hello there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can put a cool text over your images. And in anything, you can put a title, you can put a poem, you can put whatever you want it. So right here we have an image and to actually put an image over, I want to utilize control net for this. Um, be sure you go into an extension and you have your control net is enabled. Check for updates. It's always helpful because for example, I know I have it latest and it's already slightly changed from previous version. So if you update it to new version, it's kind of um, be sure you update. And if it's not, just click right here, apply restart, and it will update it and reload it your UI. Also in the settings, if you're interested, you can go to control net and right here you can see have it multiple control, how many tabs you can open. You can create more than one if you need it. Um, but for this one, we'll just use it one at all. Okay, let's go back to our text to image and we'll just use it simple um, anything um, anime type of the model for this. And just uh, have a water uh, watercolor portraits, Android girl, just a simple um, text so we can create an image. This is our example. Um, so to put it text over, what we need to do we actually utilize control net and as a simple as just a write a text but because my writing is not very good i just typed this inside the photoshop and created text overlay that i want to do so all what i needed just drag and drop here in our control enable and here's interesting things it does actually affecting what per processor you're using or not and i'll show you example so if we have it like uh let's go maybe one here and we won't select any preprocessor, assuming this is working, and we'll select canning. And let's go generate. One thing what's interesting you'll notice, it is create kind of these weird lines and a text. So I do like be sure the preprocessor is enabled for this. And for now, we'll go preprocessor enable canning, and we have a king control, and weight is one on the middle. So let's go ahead and generate. And notice what's happening. The text is very nicely kind of blending in with the color. I love it. It's placed where I need it overlay. Of course, with the modifying our weight, text can be more or less. For example, if we're going too far down, like 0.4, and try to render with this, so the preprocessing how it work, it's become, you can see sometimes disappear or change text, kind of hard to read it. So don't go too far down, but again, if you're going to too much weight on that text to about two then it will be i notice a little bit more permanent kind of displaying again up to what you like it i think the one default value is actually work very good okay so right here is our render let's go now try to render different model and canning was very well next we'll go with a depth model let's go ahead render our depth model and again I use it preprocessors. You can try to work without, but I found sometimes the result not total inconsistent. And of course, the depth is will give it us kind of weird look on the text. How I said before, not every model is work very well. Okay, let's go down to hand processor right here. And this one actually have a very nice result and you can see it's kind of outline create almost different effect on the text so all the models oh one thing what if i got to show you let's go with the depth we don't have it any preprocessor enable and we have a depth enable and then you'll have it a little bit more even embedded text so this is kind of interesting to know uh, with some models you don't want to use it preprocessor with another ones you want to use it overall use it don't use it don't use it use it let's go on mlsd now this one and we'll generate that and here is the result you can see it is kind of scramble and it's because used for architecture other ones straight lines so some it does not necessarily work very well but i still kind of very like how look the color is going through this it definitely need um, on a text that one does not work maybe we remove the preprocessors just remove preprocessor for this one then we'll have a little bit better kind of effect applied you can see but it is it still be very nice nice effect okay so other ones normal map again we're going with preprocessor and we if we want to create kind of preprocessor for normal map okay right here is our render and you can see it's applied can with normal map 
um, wow, that is some interesting language, new font we created. And let's go just again, remove preprocessor for normal maps. And this one, almost any time when you see the text come up like this scramble when you put it over, it's probably preprocessor affecting in some cases. So we'll just disable preprocessor. And you can see it's slightly better, but again, it is um, not as good as other ones. So not every model is good. Okay, Scrabble does not work. Open pose does not really work very well because it cannot recognize anything. So all of these ones, well, let's create till we here. Let's go ahead and look on that. But you know, I look also, okay, it's processing on purpose. We probably want to disable the preprocessor for that one try. But also I see how hair was going over. Okay, right here we have it. Of course, open pose won't work on this. Um, we want maybe just disable and pop up a little bit higher value on this. Let's try one more time for open pose. But again, because it's a total different model, it's not necessary. Maybe create some very... Um, scrambly text or some other effect like right here yeah you can see it's all messed up with this but you know what let's go try increase weight if we're going with the uh, um, normals as before we'll just remove preprocessor but we increase weight on the normals let's look on this okay and let's come up with a little bit better kind of embedding in some cases so i think this is another way to play it but you can see this is with very high. Okay, let's go now to the Scrabble one going. And we go select Scrabble. Again, we'll put it as one with preprocessor. And Scrabble will take some points and creating it should be actually work okay because it's a very black and white. Um, interesting other ones, if you put it gray color, you can actually have it gradients to blend in if you want it. And you can see, of course, our words because how it does work, it's um cubing and we have it last g right here it's a g <laughs> anyway yeah it's look funny i won't even pronounce that one okay but we'll say we can increase or take scrabble off okay let's go switch to different prep processor in this case and you can see it's a little bit better putting the words because how say we remove prep processor and it's applied as a blocks Okay, so let's go ahead. Segmentation. If you know segmentation, it will take different content to realize and put it on different areas. So we'll kind of try with this with processor. Again, go back to one, generate. Okay, so we obviously lost in segmentation. We can try take this, put it again, let's put it higher weight, see how this will come up with this. And most likely it will be same scramble and then we'll remove it our preprocessor. Right, it does create it, and then you know, preprocessor work with the coloring. So this is kind of interesting because if we said no, it will take this color, um, black. I don't know what black assigned to, and I try to create it. But we can also have it quite a bit fun with this. Okay, so right there you can see how it's applied. Let's go right now, and we'll replace this text with a red color, and it's interesting things because the our segmentation it will assign different elements to different colors so let's go we'll say like red or actually it's a salmon and you can see how it will effectively be different so you assign different elements okay let's go ahead one again and generate you can see it's applied interesting but again we have it some messed up overall what i found that um if we work with the text the, like a black color it's you have it very solid with canning kind of actually getting quite a bit very very nice result with this kind of very beautiful overlay that i like and so you can put text and of course you can do more than just your titles for example we can go ahead and put it like little teeny tiny poem that is the um chat gpt wrote for me so we can go ahead here and change our on the different text. Okay, and let's go ahead, generate and see how our poem. But of course, you don't need to create just a title. You actually can create a book illustrations with a text embedded or put it some in comic books or whatever you're interested like sales. So right here, example, um, I have a teeny tiny poem that written by chat GPT for me, and I'm going to use it canny control. Um, but here's the thing. So let, let me read your steps so we can preview faster. Problem is with some text. Let's go render and I'll show you what's happening here. 
you'll notice it is you cannot read and a majority main problem of this size because we have it 512 by 512 and with some text it's a limitation heading so if we increase this a little bit higher 1024 by 1024 and let's pop up maybe to about 50 steps okay i'll go ahead and render now again and you can see now you definitely can read very easy this text because it's a resolution so if for some reason you put a text maybe too small and it's come scramble maybe the resolution of the render is not big enough or maybe text too small whatever you, either way you're going with this but you know we also could use it like image to image so let's go see what else we can experiment with this right here i have a text that i stretch up with different colors we put it in the image to image let's go inside the control net and we'll just take it and put it another text here enable let's go Kenny both of them Kenny we can we can play with that after and I want to cyberpunk neon okay we'll have it 20 steps we have it um, CFG 4 and let's get more creative about 8 so let's go ahead render this and you can see we actually create a very interesting element of how it's embedded in our text it's become our buildings of course we can decrease to create a little bit more creative or less creative so we can play a little bit more with the text how much text embedded like right here you can see the text quite a bit going from gig at play and i'm sure playing with a little bit more add create for other elements we can create these ones look like a building is to going so like right there you can see apply it and you know what let's go pop up even higher so we'll see what will come up with this Th this is kind of interesting to play around with the weights and see how they work together of course if we create more like 10 this is will increase um variety it's kind of uh, more creative <laughs> what they call but in reality it's a little bit more um less narrow and uh, our clip in the when we define what the image is created but look right here how well it's integrated with this and of course because we're using same text it's kind of apply a little bit on the heights in these areas and we of course can play a little bit more with the different properties like for example um, set a little bit no pro processor for this generate this is will affect just uh, our text mostly but you can see how it is creating then in some case actually on Kenny when no preprocessor it's for some reason create all this mess so we don't necessarily want to use this but we can still use like depth or other ones with no preprocessor and you can see how the mess is come up with some I think it's actually a very good point you know just to go ahead and play around with the different settings different text hopefully it's open some new possibilities you know to embed it I say I like how it's taken embedded text in our uh, images when it's created. So overall, hopefully you found this video interesting. Let me know what you think if you experiment and you found some in other ways you can use it the um, control nets. And thank you for watching this video. So subscribing, give a thumbs up, share the videos, help me to grow. Again, have a great time.